Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new brewery to the show, uh, Burley Oak, and Burley Oak is out of Berlin, Maryland. Um, like I said, haven't had any of their stuff on the show. I've actually tried a few of their things on tap at various places and have been interested in it. Not not like amazing, but not bad at all, like good solid stuff, and it's a fairly new brewery, so that's exciting. Uh, what I have here was courtesy of Laura and Sean Finn. Thank you very much to both of you. If people remember, Sean's been on the actual podcast before. Um, they brought me a, um, well, kind of the, the growler of Burley Oak, I guess. Uh, Sean said that they don't really do growlers. They do this instead, this massive 32-ounce can that they will fill up for you uh, and let you take the beer with you. So, the, <laughs> And it's called the Burley Can. It actually says there the Burley can, if you can see. And you can also see it's called Golden Sex Panther, and it is 5.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, this from the same brewery that has a beer called Just the Tip. And if you can see, they have a pretty cool logo, Burley Oak, and this, yes, this can is massive. If I just hold it, you can get an idea I'm trying to drink from this. It's huge. So the Golden Sex Panther is actually a Saison that's done with basil and lemongrass, apparently. See how this goes. Wish I had nails. It's easier to get that. All right. Makes it a little tough to pour it. <laughs> no, actually, uh, not too bad. There, I'll, so you guys can look at the oh, logo. Nice. Hmm. Um, looks a little bit darker than I would assume a saison would. Actually, almost like an IPA type look to it. Pretty, a uh, little bit hazy, but. Pretty clear, um, very orangish. It's got a decent bit of a head to it there. Smell those banana-y type notes. I can smell that basil for sure. It's like banana, basil, because I know lemongrass is in it, I can pick the lemongrass out, but it's not like crazy. If I didn't know there was lemongrass, I probably would not be able to pick it out. But knowing it's there, I can search for it and it's there. But yeah, like basil, lemongrass, banana-y, saison yeast. And that's pretty much it. Ooh. It's very um, smooth. It's a very smooth type beer. Um, it's interesting because as, as soon as it hit my tongue, it almost came off kind of buttery in consistency, which is kind of weird. Definitely get the basil in there. The basil is way up front. It's a big pop. You can get the lemongrass more on the finish of the beer. You get that kind of funky Saison yeast aspect to it, a little bit of a banana-y note. And then there's a little bit of kind of a, um, a little um, a little bit of a twang on the end that's, that's kind of like a dirty dish rag, but it's not distracting a ton. It's, like I said, a little bit. It's very slightly there. Hmm. For me, because of all these flavors coming together, it has a little bit of a soapy quality to it because, you know, real perfumey type soaps. Um, and actually that kind of creamy, interesting mouthfeel kind of adds to that. It's a little soap-ish. Um, I don't know how I am in general with, with basil and beers, but uh, this is pretty well done as far as basil and beers go and lemongrass. If you like the idea of basil, lemongrass, saison you will probably like this beer. I'm just undecided on if I like those things because I, I haven't had them a whole lot in beer. I know that I hate lavender in beer and in food. Can't do that. So um, I'm okay on this beer. I'll drink it. I'm going to drink it with the wife. I think she'll enjoy it. So anyone out there, if you like what you heard, go ahead and check out Burley Oak if you can get it. And their Burley cans are so cool. Um, maybe I'll do another one. I have their awesome sauce. So that would be cool to do. Anyway, good job, Burley Oak. Thanks for all the basil-y, lemony, lemongrassy, saison-y goodness. And until next time, everybody, go have yourself an awesome beer.